Okay, so I want to show you how to thread a needle and tie a knot. It seems like a simple thing, but there's a couple things that can make it a little easier that I want to share with you. So, here we have um, the needle and thread, and I see a lot of people try to thread the needle with a big long piece like this and, you know, kind of trying to poke at the <laughs> eye. And really, um, this is so floppy, it makes it tricky. So what you want to do is pull this down a little bit so that you have a nice little bristly short piece here that's a little easier to thread. And then all you have to do is just wiggle the eye down onto the thread and it goes on much easier. So to tie a knot, whether you're doing a single strand or a double, I'll show you a double here, um, you're going to want to bring both um, ends down here. This is the way to tie a knot if you want a substantial knot that's not going to pull through your fabric. Um, so what we do is we'll bring both ends together um, right in front of this finger here. I'm right-handed so I'm going to work with it this way. If you're left-handed you can work with it this way. Um, so I've got the two tail ends here. I'm going to cover them with my thumb and then I wrap this thread around like this. And now I've got a little X with a tiny little tail hanging down. The X is where the knot happens, so you don't want to do it like this where you've got this big long tail hanging down because that's just going to waste thread. So um, we'll do it up here so that we don't have to cut off any extra thread. So I've got my X, cover it with my thumb, and then I'm going to pinch and roll down towards the end of my finger like this, just a few rolls. Bring the middle finger in in front of those rolls like this. Pull back with your right hand and uh, there you go. You've got a nice little knot there at the end of your thread.